Hello and welcome to this, the uh, latest edition of the Screen One interview. And today I am joined by Craig Fairbrass and Shane McCormick. And today we're talking about their new film, which uh, is coming out soon, uh, called The Sun Also Rises. Um, Shane wrote it and stars in it, and Craig also stars in it. So uh, we've got a lot to get and through. And he produced it. I, 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 I don't forget. Sorry. And he produced it. <laughs> greedy, greedy bollocks. He's a man of many talents. <laughs> You didn't direct it though. That was the only no, thing. But, it, but it's all your it's all your original story, isn't it, Shane? It is. It's um something that we we've been working on for a few years, uh, on the strength of Nil by Mouth. Um, we just wanted to try and make sort some sort of up and dated version, um, in which it was called Ray Ray the Man. Um, it wasn't the script that we wanted where it wanted where we needed it to be. Um, so I took it to Roland Manukian and. Uh, yeah, I think he spent about a year on it and um, he's come up with Untold. Uh, he's, he's, he's flipped it upside down 10 ways and uh, he created Ray the Girl, um, bringing in um, the black girl to, to play on the uh, minority. Um, and then we created The Sun Also Rises because he needed a better title. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's gone full circle. So do you want to tell us a little bit about story? Because it, it's, 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 it's quite hard hitting. Yeah, it's, so it's, it's based on domestic abuse. Um, and it's, it, it tells a story of um, the, the, the cycle of a woman that's stuck in a relationship. Um, and she's trying her hardest to get out of that relationship. But because of love and, and, and control, manipulation, um, she can't get out. So... Um, I won't spoil the story, but uh, yeah, uh, something happens in which it creates that opportunity for her. Okay, yeah, so it's it's quite a, uh, unfortunately, quite a current theme story, isn't it? I mean, we're seeing a lot more of this kind of stuff in the press at the moment. So, uh, is is that where you drew drew from, or is is there where else did you get the story from? Was it just an original creation? Or? So we've um, we've done a couple of shorts, short films on building building to this one, um, which one was, which was Suicide Awareness. Uh, then the next one was a Munchenhausen, um, which is uh, somebody that pretends that she has cancer uh, and stuck in a relationship for the social media. Um, so we're trying to uh, keep a niche and build on the mental health. Um, we have another two scripts in front of us that are, again, based on mental health in some sort. Um, and this one was the domestic abuse version. And then... Yeah, we uh, sort of nicked kind of the baseline of the story from Nil by Mouth um, and progressed to, to make it something else, an updated version. Yeah, so do you want to tell us how you came into, into the story, into the film? You talk to me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sitting here listening, I'm like... Yeah. <laughs> I didn't hear the name, I didn't hear the cue, and action! <laughs> <laughs> no, the um obviously, you know, Roland's uh, um, a very, very, very dear friend of mine. I think we've done nine films together now, believe it or not. Um, I've got a lot of respect for him. He's a switched on boy, and he's got great taste. He just said to me, listen, he said, I'm I'm shooting this movie. Um, it's a really, really good script. Um, it's very current covers a lot of, you know, issues that everybody's, it's on everybody's front of their minds now. And that was uh, domestic violence. And I read it and I was, I wasn't expecting it to be as good as it was, to be honest with you. Um, and he said, listen, there's a role in there of, uh, of the older brother. You know, he comes in, he comes and goes. They're very opposites, you know, um, so I'm Lee, the older brother to Shane, who plays Frank. And we're polar opposites. You know, I've sort of done well in my life. I've sort of moved on. And he's this, this, this geezer who's he's on the estates. He's running riot. He's out of control. Um, and it's just about, basically, the film's about shining a light on, on what goes on, you know, with serious abuse. But there is a shining light to this film. I'm not going to give it away, but um, there's an aptness to it. You know, it's brutal, it's gritty, it's an urban drama. 
Um, as I said, it covers a lot of aspects of what's actually going on now, you know, with a lot of people. And apparently I was reading an interview the other, uh, 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 some documentation online about how in lockdown, you know, domestic abuse went through the ceiling. I mean, it was like, I suppose, you know, obviously, because people were locked, locked away and with people they didn't want to be with. Um, so yeah, I jumped at the chance to be in it. It's a good little film. I've got great feelings about it. I did some, some beautiful scenes with Shane. Some lovely scenes with Gina Jones, who plays Ray. Um, and The Sun Will So Rises is, is, is based on the title of the book that has a very powerful message within the film. Mm. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I, I, I'm sort of gravitating towards stuff like this. I, I just love anything that's got a message and got a little bit of every duty in-depth drama, you know, as opposed to just punching people. <laughs> 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 that's quite a, that's quite a steep change compared to some of your recent roles playing somebody who's a bit more upstanding than usual Craig yeah I mean um, to be honest with you <laughs> Roden sort of put it on me so listen it's you know it, it, it's a bunch of scenes um, not your usual stuff I know you can do it because I've seen you do it quite emotional stuff and I was like well how you know so I turned up on the day thinking it would be emotional, but <laughs> unfortunately, <laughs> Roland being Roland, he's such a fucking taskmaster. He wouldn't, he wouldn't let me leave the floor until he got it how he wanted it. And I took me out of to him. I said, listen, you know, um, got some really good stuff there because he wanted me to go to a place that, you know, Move, trying to move people or, or to be emotional and to be believable and to be, you know, not crying, but just, you know, um, talking about things that affect you, bring feelings boiling up. Um, a lot, and a lot of it's in the writing. You know, the writing was good. So you can, you can say certain lines as an actor and just saying the lines can upset you, um, can, can, can emote emotions, if you know what I'm trying to say. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, absolutely. So, Shane, um, when uh, when you were writing this, did you envisage yourself in any of the roles, or was it kind of a bit of a blank canvas? No, I was I was always going to be the lead. Like it was, it, that was my ambition for it. I had a sort of fucking financer. <laughs> there was no one else. <laughs> he, he, he had the ambition to do it, and, and and I got to pat him on the back. He'd done it and did a great job. From what I saw him acting, he was smashing it. So, oh, thank you, Craig. Good luck, that means a lot from you, mate. Definitely. Yeah. Thank you. Um, but yeah, we, it was. It, I had three films. I've had three films for the last three years. Um, mm. I'm not here to, to to skip corners. I'm here to learn, sponge everything in, and learn from the best. And uh, that's my goal and my ambition. I work hard. Um, and this was the first feature. Like I said, we've had three short films. So where I was the lead, and it was sort of my uh, path to building me to become a lead, and, and that's what I've always wanted to do. Um, learning from the likes of Craig and, and following in their footsteps, like that's that's the envision that I want to do. So, um, yeah, uh, this was the first one, and I was going to work my hardest to uh, to make sure this gets off the floor. So, um, mm. I literally stopped working from June um, and spent six months raising the finance and, and and the funds to get this off the floor, uh, mm. and and having the likes of Roland by my side bringing the people that we brought in, it, it was just incredible. It was just like it, everything just kept ticking and it get, get bigger and bigger and bigger. And like, it, and let me just say this. I mean, you also, Shane worked on two, was it two Foot Soldier movies? Yeah, my Bear and the Origins, yeah. And was there, not only as an actor, but was there watching, seeing how the machine works, taking all that knowledge in, which is, you know, you can't buy that experience to see how the function of a film works. And I think that pays dividends, you know. Hundred percent. I couldn't. I could have uh, done what I'd done on this one if I didn't spend that month on the origins yeah. with with Nick, by not the size of Nick Nevin and Andy and yourselves and mate. Uh, it's an unbelievable experience. So that sort of progressed to the next level for me to to, to have the balls to to go and do this. So yeah, um, yeah. It's, it, but everybody's done their job, brought their their bit to the to the team, and uh, could have done it without everyone. So it's been incredible. Yeah, fair place. So, um, what what would what do you think was the 
did you feel was the hardest struggle getting it from short movies to script, the financing? So what, where was your biggest struggle with this? Or not struggle maybe, but, you know, your challenge, I suppose, is a better word. Uh, well, we it, it, it progressed every time. So we went and done a first, our first short film was this talk about George Suicide Awareness with like the Josh Myers, Frank Harper, Katie Jarvis, Nick Nevin. Then we've gone from that to, to a more uh, less characterised uh, short film that was uh, Jeff Bell and Jamie Winston. And then just just we've just just going for it. Me and Roland just thought, how oh, let's go with it. Uh, let's go for this feature. Uh, and then we just progressed from that. And I mean, the, the, the cast that we've got in this is just I never expected it in a million years, but it, it's happened and uh, we made it happen. So yeah, I'm grateful for that massively. So that's just that's, that's just the road for it, basically. Yeah. Yeah. So um, when do you expect to get things, you know, getting towards release and, you know, what, what, what you're sort of looking forward to with that? Have you got a big premiere planned or are you just going to... Yeah, we, gonna we, we, we've already got quotes uh, from around the whole of London already. Obviously, we've been nicking ideas from my experiences with uh, Rise of the Foot Soldier and stuff. So we've, we, we've been we've been getting quotes from Leicester Squares and, and the Curzons. Roland said that the football factory and that the business done in Curzon, so we did Leicester Square. We've got <coughs> money for the, uh, the for a nice premiere, so... That's, that's the main thing. Um, the release is still with the editor. It, it takes so long. Um, Roland's, Roland's actually editing himself at the moment on his phone, like <laughs> just, just because he's, he, he's struggling to wait for the editor. So, um, yeah, he, he said he's, he's rung me today and he's done eight minutes already <laughs> on his phone. He's like, Shay, I can't send it to your mate because, uh, yeah, I don't want to see you a rough copy. Like, and, uh, yeah, but we're, we're all trying to eager to get this done. Um <laughs> Yeah. We we got things ticking. Um, we're getting cans, so he, he, everything's all booked and cool. Going we want. So we should see big things from it soon, then. I hope so, mate. I hope so. Yes, definitely, hundred yeah, percent. And what about you, Craig? I mean, obviously, you're you're kind of almost on the outside looking in at this process. Is it is it been quite awe inspiring for you? Hey, listen, I'm I'm a massive fan and a, a champion of independent British film. You know, mm. you can call it British people. Oh, you call it. But, you know, the, the film game has always been tough in England. Um, it's always been dominated by the bigger films that come to the studios, take up the space and shoot huge films. You know, I come from a world of independent film. And lucky enough, over the last few years or the last, well, yeah, I've done a lot of strong independent movies that have sold worldwide. So um, I, I, love, I love anything to do with independent film because it, they're much more family orientated. Everybody cares. Um, and budgets mean nothing, you know, because you, you, I've, I've watched fucking $100 million movies that are dog shit. And I've watched films made for 10 grand on someone's phone that you can't breathe. Yeah. Do you know what I'm trying to say? So it, it, it's, that means nothing. Um, Roland's a switched on boy. You know, he's got some great actors. Jeff Bell's in this, Callum McNabb. Um, uh, who else was there? Uh, yeah, was Eddie Webber's in it. Eddie Webber is in it. Um, Eddie Webber, yeah, Eddie's Eddie's fantastic. You know, I mean, there's, these are all guys that I grew up with, admiring. Yeah. Um, that you know, of, of, of actors, we've all grown together and watched each other go off and do shit. Um, and all of us are getting a living and doing more, more, more work. But um, working with Roland has been was an amazing pleasure. You know, because he's a mate and I love him, you know, and I, I wish him the best of luck with his film. I really do. Done a lot of work on the script. I know that for a fact. Mm. So, Shane, what's that? What's after? So, Sun also, also Rises is on the way. What's the next goal? Are you going for directing or are you no, just no, looking no. to film on what you've got? I can't do everything. <laughs> <laughs> directing, you can I'll come on. <laughs> <laughs> it's too much stress, I tell you. It's, it's too much. Um, I'm no, glad we, you we, said that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I did it twice and then I had a nervous breakdown. I was like, Jesus Christ, it's fucking relentless. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it is. It is Raining. A lot, it's a lot to take on, I tell you. You need to yeah. just wind down from it all. And um, mm. But the first one is the artist, uh, and that's what I believe. Like Ever since we've got this one off the floor, I've been having meetings now for the next ones already, which I don't have to raise the funds myself already. So uh, yeah. it's, it depends on, obviously, how this does. Uh, we've got to get a trailer together, get a poster together. 
Uh, and then obviously we make the moves for the next one. We've got the next one. Ro work, Roland's working on that already, um, strengthening the script on that one, which uh, we, we're hoping to do this year or early next year. So fingers crossed it goes how we want. So your next ones, are they also scripts you've written or stories you've written or is yeah. it your work of the yeah. stuff as well? So this one's Tommy Atkins. It's, uh, he's a war hero um, with PTSD, plays the owner's, owner's part in it. Uh, Tommy, Tommy Atkins is actually a name from World War II, who is a, a World War hero. Um, and yes, yeah, again, again, it's the mental health thing with the PTSD we're playing on. Mm. Um, we look to get this one. It's Roland strengthening it as we speak. Um, and fingers crossed, we, the cars that we want again is uh, it happens. So this yeah. see, and it's a little lot more money on this one, but fingers crossed. So will there be a part for hundred percent? He's on the pitch deck. <laughs> <laughs> He's on the pitch deck. <laughs> Obviously, if he accepts it, has it? <laughs> no pressure, but yeah, you're in. Roland, Roland's working on it because he, he, he plays to the he plays to Craig's strengths. Like he's, he's writing it as he goes to, to be yeah. the part that he'd like. So uh, hopefully it works. <laughs> Roland, Roland's, um, you know, me and Roland have always got on unbelievably well. Um, Roland's always been a very sharp, intuitive recognizer of talent as well. Mm. Like me and him, we talk about acting for hours. We know the shit actors, the good actors. You know, you talk about that stuff. Um, and working with him over the years, you know, there's, there's, a, there's, there's a little group of British actors who are, you know, who do it um, in these films. And yeah. people love them. You know, the audiences, they, they want to see, I get messages every day of people going, oh, I love these, I love him, I love him, I love him, I don't like him, I like, do you know, I'm, I, I spoke to you about this before, is the fact of, you know, most people really appreciate a good little film. Yeah. You know, they can recognise the ones that ain't, if you know what I'm trying to say. Mm. So, have you got any final comments you'd like to add, Shane, about the film? Um, anything you'd like to tell people before we go? Um, and the same for you, Craig. Um, and where will we see you next, Craig? You, have you got anything solid? Because you are a bit vague last time we spoke because you weren't sure. Is there anything you can tell us? Well, let me you? just say something to you. It was, it's yeah. so weird. It's so strange. It's so weird. Because I'm sitting here. I want to say what I said earlier. I closed <laughs> the deal tonight on a massive job. It's been... It's, it's, it's took two weeks to do the deal. I mean, it's been going around the right. globe from here to LA to a, another part of the world. Um... And I got a call tonight saying it's all put to bed and done, everything's agreed. So uh, I'm excited about that. So I'm going away at the end of the month. I can't say anything about it. It's, it's under one of them strange titles. It's a big TV job from one of the big um, streaming platforms. Um, and then a bunch of films. I've got three, four, four projects that I'm working on now with, with writers, um, that they've, you know, they're fantastic. They're, they're beautiful projects. They just need a little bit of finessing, you know what I mean? And just a little yeah. bit altering. But no, there's stuff there, thank God, because you know what it's like as an actor. Um, you never know what tomorrow holds. It's either mm. up, it's rain or shine or feast or famine. Mm. And you, Shane? Yeah. Congratulations, Craig, on that, mate. Um, thank you, Guy. I appreciate that. Yeah. Um, yeah, no... Uh, I'd just like to, yeah, I'm thankful for everything that's happened over the last sort of six months. Um, I'm not going to rush into to the next project. I want to get this this smashed and, and make sure that uh, uh, we tick all the boxes. We, we plan on a lot of emotional heartstrings in this film, which is uh, brilliant. Um, Roland has ripped me an incredible part. Like, um, it's actually ticked every box. Like he's got a massive monologue. He's got fighting. He's got sad scenes. He's got happy scenes. He's got fighting. He's got, it's got every single emotion that you can do in this film. Um, and 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 that's the most thing that I'm grateful for the most. Um, because I get to express, um, how I can come across as an actor. Um, and that's what uh, I'm happy about. But yeah, I'm not gonna jump to the next one until this one's, um, where I want it to be. So, focus is on this one. Good. Well, 
run out of time. So everybody, um, the sun also rises. We'll be out soon. Hopefully, uh, we will have more news for you as it comes along. Hopefully, we we'll get to catch up with you guys just before release um and uh, see where you're at and see where the journey's taking you so um thank you for your time guys um congratulations craig congratulations shane on this one um and hopefully we'll see you all soon on this screen one interview next time bye thanks, mate. take care thanks matt thanks, matt. thanks for having me be good see you later, craig mate good luck congratulations mate